Once the frame geometry is defined in the part studio, the next step is to define the cut list table. A cut list is a table that provides the quantity of each unique segment, the length and angles at each end, and any other properties needed to manufacture the frame. The cut list feature in the feature toolbar generates this table, allowing Onshape to automatically group and count all identical segments, output the lengths and angles, and optionally allows the user to add or reorder additional columns to the table. The cut list feature not only creates the cut list table, but also combines the selected individual segments of the frame into a group, called an open composite part. As a review, a composite part consumes parts, surfaces, and other entities in a part studio to be one part that displays in a bill of materials in an assembly, or used in other workflows as a single part. A closed composite part completely consumes the individual parts that make up the composite, and they are no longer available individually. An open composite part allows the individual parts of the composite to be selected and used in other workflows. When working with frame structures, it is common to treat the entire frame as an individual part in a top-level assembly, but still requiring access to the individual segments that make up the frame, to detail on a drawing sheet for example. In this way, consuming the individual segments into an open composite part, when using the cut list feature, provides the flexibility to define the frame as a single part and also use the individual segments when needed. Let's take a look at using the cut list feature. After the segments are created, click the cut list feature in the feature toolbar. To include all the frames in the part studio, check select all frames. If this option is left cleared, select just the segments needed for the cut list in the frame selection box. The cut list tab displays on the right side. Click it to open the table. The default column headers include item, quantity, length, angle 1, and angle 2, and any other properties tagged in the profile. The profiles in the provided on shape library include standard and description. Accept the feature once done. Notice the parts list. A new composite part that includes all the selected segments is listed as well as the individual segments listed under the parts header. A user may add additional columns to the cut list table or include non-frame parts in the table by using the overrides option. To edit the cut list, navigate to the cut list feature in the feature list and double click it or right click and choose edit. Let's first look at creating a new column for frame segments. To add a new column click add column override. Define what segments should be included with the new column property and manually input it value. If the new column and value should apply to all the segments check all frames. Input the column name and value for the cell of those segments. Notice the question mark equals question mark notation in the dialog fills in with the column header on the left side of the equal sign and the value on the right side. If the value should be different for different segments under the same column property, only select the segments with the same value at once. Then, create another column override for the next value, being sure to input the same column property. The inputs are case sensitive, so be sure to input the column property identically to the previous override so Onshape can group all the values under the same column. Clear the same frames as previous checkbox and select the other segments. Repeat as needed. To add additional parts that are not frame segments to the table, use the same column override option. Click Add Column Override, choose the parts in the frame selection field of the dialog, input the column property and value, repeat for each needed column. Check same frames as previous checkbox to apply the new column and value to the same parts as previously selected. If any cell does not have a value the cell in the table shows not set. If you add an override, there must be a column input for the feature to generate. To remove an override click the X at the top of that override input. Accept the cut list feature when done. To rename the table, edit the feature name. Right click on the feature in the feature list and select rename. Notice the table name changes. To move columns right click on the column and select move left or move right. To hide a column right-click and choose Hide Column. 
The table can be copied to a spreadsheet application by selecting the overflow icon and choosing copy table. Then you may paste the clipboard in another application. You can create several cut list tables in one part studio by creating multiple cut list features and selecting the individual segments. If required, the same frame segment may be included in more than one cut list. Renaming the features helps organize the tables in the cut list flyout. The cut list can also be inserted into a drawing within Onshape and callouts can reference the table. A video in the next lesson explores creating drawings with frames.